welcome back here's another video i do apologize for um running behind this trip that i took for the yoga festival um just had this big domino effect there was a lot to do getting ready for the trip and then the trip and then the trip got delayed because travel things and uh i do apologize i did not forget about you it has just been a um wild ride the last couple weeks. So thank you for your patience and understanding. I will definitely be giving everything to you. Um, I'll probably double up on you this week. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> so let's just start in whatever's our most comfortable sit. Um, I'm going to scooch forward on my chair and I'm even putting my foot up, feet up on these blocks here. Um, this does make a bit of a difference. If you're sitting a lot, if you have a job, you have to sit a lot. And we're comfortable with our feet down, but just adding that little block or a little something underneath um, takes a little bit of the strain off of the hips and low back area. So just starting with your hands on your lap, either palms down or palms up, whichever serves you best in this moment, and set your gaze down towards the floor in front of you, or if you feel safe and comfortable, close your eyes completely. And while we're in this Position here, just gently scanning the body from head to toe. Seeing if there's any obvious places where we might be holding on to some tension. And if you haven't already, allow there to be a space between the top and bottom teeth, softening the jaw. Just checking in with the breath, noticing the speed of the breath, the depth of the breath. The texture of the breath. I'm not judging it or trying to change it in any particular way, but just being aware. And then taking the time here to maybe focus on an intention, your goal that you might have for this class, for this practice. Or maybe a dedication to someone or something that needs a little extra love or attention or forgiveness. And visualizing whatever that is in your mind's eye. Let the hands float up to heart center into a prayer position and bow the head slightly deeper where we seal that intention with ourselves. Namaste. Very nice. So good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time it is that you're watching this video today. Let's just start by matching a little bit of breath with movement. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, let the hands float back down by your side. Inhale, reaching all the way up. And exhale, floating the hands back down. And then one more time, just like this. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, let the hands float back down. Let's bring the hands down to the left. Let's move through some cat cows. We're going to arch the back on the inhale with the heart, with the tailbone. And on the exhale, rounding out the spine, chin to chest, tuck the tail. Inhale, rock the pelvic cup forward, shoulders back, exhale, rounding. So just keep rocking back and forth, hips coming forward, shoulders going back, and then rounding it all out, waking up the spine, getting some flexibility here. Let's do this for just several more breaths. I got a sand spur in my blanket. Yeah, that's a bad place to have a... We have sand spurs everywhere here in Florida. So you don't walk around barefoot very much because they, they hurt a lot when you step on them, but they also attach to all of your clothes. So when you do laundry, they get really embedded in like your blankets and socks and yeah, it's bad when one gets in your underwear, right? You don't see it. Ugh. There was one on my blanket, so I could feel it when I was rocking back. Inhale forward and back and let's do two more. 
Inhale forward. And exhale back. Very nice. Come back up into that neutral spine. Let's roll the shoulders out a few times, pulling them up towards the ears and rounding back and down. Ooh, wake up those shoulders. And go the other way, Smith, crackle pop. Awesome. Let's send both hands out in front and pull the fingers back. And now point the fingers down, stretching out the wrists, the forearms, and pulling back. If you've ever um, dealt with any carpal tunnel issues, you know, even this simple movement can be a little painful. When I used to work retail, I'm right-handed, but I did most of like my, I guess, bagging and things with my left hand. So my left hand always had carpal tunnel issues. It was really strange. And then let's draw some circles in the air. You can go opposite, you can go the same, whatever works for you. Rounding out the wrists, snap, crackle, pop. And then reverse. Let's just kind of wave at each other. So we're just really just try to isolate it into the wrist first. It'll be like the wrists and the forearms going back and forth. And then try to make it like the whole shoulder now, getting the whole arm. All right, hands out in front. Let's inhale, open out to the side. And exhale, bring it together. Let's go up now. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, down. So we're going to alternate here. Inhale, open. Exhale, together. Inhale, up. Follow with your gaze. We'll start to wake up the neck. Exhale, down. One more time like this. Inhale, open. Exhale, together. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, down. Good one. Let's take just the right arm and draw some big circles in the air. And now reverse. And if this is not comfortable in your shoulders, make the circles smaller. Find what fits. Let's go to the other side. Big circles one direction. I don't know if you've noticed, I usually just kind of do three and three, then reverse. All right, good. Let's pull the shoulders up to the ears as high as we can. Squeeze them in like you're like trying to crack a nut between your ear and your shoulders. Take a big inhale. And on the exhale, drop. Do that a couple more times. Pull them up. Exhale, drop. And really just try to drop it. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, drop. The reason this is good to practice is that we hold so much tension here that our body is just a, accustomed to holding it. So when we start to drop the shoulders, they don't always go down. And we want to just train the shoulders. We're like training them that... When we say drop, like relax, and uh, it takes practice. We got to unlearn all these things that we're doing in our um, daily lives. So inhale, reach the arms up overhead. If it's in your practice, interlace the fingertips, maybe send the index finger up. It's kind of like the Charlie's Angels pose here, right? Take a big inhale. And then the exhale, lean over to the right. It doesn't need to be a deep bend. We're just opening up the side body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over to the left. Start to loosen up that thoracic spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tilt. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tilt. Now we're going to hold it. We'll come back to this center. And the exhale, lean over to the right. Exhale. And stay here for a full round of breath. Now inhale back up to center. We'll exhale the other direction. Stay here for a full round of breath. Inhale back up. We'll do it one more time each side. Uh, 
last full breath. Inhale back up to center. And this time on the exhale, let's take a twist. Right hand, left knee, left hand back behind. Look out over the left shoulder as far as the body allows. Take a couple deep breaths here. Notice if your jaw tried to clench up again. See if you can soften that if you haven't. Staying in this twist, turn your head out over the right shoulder, looking all the way the other direction. And now take your gaze back out over the back shoulder, the left shoulder. With the next inhale, reach the arms up, coming forward facing. And on the exhale, twist in the other direction. So our left hand comes to the right knee. The right hand is just kind of holding on to the back of the chair. Now I'm not using it to pull or rotate myself, just a guide. So looking out over the right shoulder here for a couple breaths. Staying in the twist, look out over the left shoulder, looking forward. Now take your gaze backwards again, out over the right shoulder. And with the next inhale, reach the arms up overhead, forward facing. Let's exhale forward, fold belly to thighs. Let's roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly rolling up, letting the head be the last thing that comes up. We're just going to take this like fluid movement. You know, um, a lot of what came up for me the last few days is that um, everything returns to water. Water is fluid. Bass, being in the ocean, it's all very grounding. It's calming. Everything returns to water, right? So let's move like water here. So take a big inhale, reach the shoulders up, arch the back. Exhale, roll forward. Inhale, roll the spine back up. Coming back up to the seated and exhale like we're swan diving forward into the water. And just letting the spine be fluid, like really just flowing like water, like you're waterfalling over the side of the mountain here. Matching breath with movement. No rigidity at all, just really just softening. Feel the natural flow in the body. Let's do that two more times. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, rolling up. And last one. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, coming up. Here we go. That was one thing I noticed a lot at the um, fest at the yoga festival last week, is that there's a lot of free movement happening in yoga classes, dance parties breaking out in the middle of asana, and um, I think it's amazing. Like, let's just move those bodies. Let's take our feet a little bit wider, and you can keep them on the blocks. You can put them on the floor, whichever is working for you. We're just taking the feet a little bit wider, so my blocks are still basically on the mat, still up on the edge here. So let's inhale, reach the arms up. And on the exhale, bring the right hand over towards the left foot, the belly coming over that thigh. And now I'm gonna hold on to my leg here just to bring, bring myself over in this direction. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. And then inhale, reach that arm up. I'm going to take it the other direction. Exhale, left hand over towards the right foot, right ankle. We'll stay here for a few breaths. Inhale, left arm comes up. Let's just get that little flow going. Right arm comes back over to the left. You can hold on to the chair. You can hold on to your leg. Two breaths here. And then inhale, come back up. We'll do it to the other side. Left hand, right, right foot, right ankle, wherever it lands. Right knee, it's all good too. And we'll do this one more time, each side, arms coming up. Just kind of cartwheeling over here to the side. And 
And last one, all the way back over, left hand towards the right foot. Inhale, coming back up, and we'll let those hands just come down to each knee or thigh area. I stick the right shoulder down towards the center, getting a little stretch in that shoulder area. And then inhale, come back up into center. We'll dip the left shoulder down. And then come back up into center. Let's take a full torso circle here. So bring the body forward on the inhale, exhale, coming back, or whatever breath um, pattern fits best for you. Big circles, take it nice and slow, really lean back. And let's go the other direction, the other way. One more time around here. Oh, come back up. Let's windshield wipe with the knees from side to side. Waking up the hips now, right? Ooh. Let's twist over to one side here. Maybe look the opposite direction. Come back through the other way. Drop the knees to the other side. Look the other way, this way. And then come back in forward facing. Let's just stump out the feet a little bit. Make sure our feet are nice and awake. And was that a blanket? There we go. <laughs> Let's take the right foot and draw some circles in the air with the toes. Go the opposite direction. Wake up those ankles. Perfect. Take it to the other foot. Big circles with sweat. <clears throat> and big circles the other way. All right. Let's, uh, so whether your feet are pressing into the block or the floor, let's lift and spread all the toes nice and wide. Stretch out the feet, stretch out the toes. And then... See if we can press the big toe down into the floor, keeping the other toes lifted. So you're pushing down with your big toe. Strengthening that muscle on the bottom of your feet. So if you've been practicing this with me, um, hopefully the feet are starting to gain some strength. So we'll lift the big toe and press the other toes down into the floor. All right, here's the big challenge. Lift all the toes and see if you can press the big toe and the little toe down into the floor, keeping the ones in the middle lifted. You're probably giggling a little bit, that's okay. <laughs> it's a challenge. We work on that, right? <laughs> all right, good job, stump it up. Let's bring, I'm gonna abandon the blocks here for just a moment and let's bring the right foot up towards the left knee. Now again, if this is not accessible for you, an extra chair is always a bonus. Um, my hip is extra tight, so sometimes that's the um, go-to, or if you have like an exercise ball or a footstool or anything like that that you can use also. Bringing, so bringing the ankle to the knee, just very gently push the knee down towards the floor. Not forcing it, we're just, nudging it, waking it up a little bit. All right, take a big breath, long spine. And see if you can hinge at the hips here, not rounding at the back, but leaning forward here at the hips. Find your edge. I don't know if I've mentioned this, I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, we're looking for that, uh, if zero or one is you're not feeling a lot of sensation in the pose, and 10, you were in excruciating pain and you're uncomfortable, uh, when we're practicing yoga, we wanna find that three or four. Um, it's quite a low number. We don't even wanna be halfway. We want to feel sensation. Um, we wanna feel the pose in our body, 
Um, but we're not, it's not the 80s. Remember, um, well, you probably don't remember. I do. Uh, it was always uh, no pay, no gain. You know, feel the burn. We're leaving that in the 80s, okay? So, <laughs> leaning forward, finding gentle sensation. This is where our body starts to feel a little bit more trusting. Um, I've noticed that I pulled back on feeling the sensation. I'm actually feeling more benefits from my practice because I'm less sore. I'm less, um, you know, my muscles aren't constantly trying to feel recovery mode. Uh, but they're, they're feel, it's feeling more effective. Like I feel like I'm gaining more flexibility by pulling back and doing less. So less is more. Yeah, there we go. Less is more. That's, that's the lesson of this class today. That's the thing. I hope you're laughing with me. <laughs> so staying in this forward fold for about three more breaths. come back up to that upright seated position send that foot down to the floor we'll take it to the other side so bring this other ankle up and gently pressing the knee down to the floor just I just do it just little little pushes not one full forceful push I just find that just that little bits just do the trick right and it just feels good it's nice on the side take a big breath inhale lengthen the spine and on the exhale, hinging at the hips, coming forward. Make sure while you're in these poses that you're holding the pose but not holding the breath. And you're not clenching your jaw or tensing up your shoulders. Um, that tends to be the first places that we hold on to things like this here. So three more breaths like this. Inhale, come all the way back up. Let's let that foot come down. And we're gonna walk in our chair. So um, if you were ever, when you were a kid, like sat on the floor and like walked across the floor on your bottom, that's kind of what we're doing here in the chair. So we're gonna lift the right hip and lower the right rib at the same time. And then we're gonna lift the right hip, left hip, lower the left rib. So we're just kind of like wiggling in the chair, right? Back and forth. And this really, I find just, breaks up a lot of the tension in the low back. Oh, it always feels so good if you've been sitting for too long. Just wiggle it out, you know? Hula dance in your chair. Feels good, right? There we go. And just walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. This is always good to do a couple times throughout the day if you're sitting for long periods of time. Um, it activates the abdominals here a little bit. All right, awesome, Whew. good job. Let's take the feet wide again, maybe a little bit wider than they were before. Then we're gonna bring the right elbow over here to the right thigh, reach the left arm up and over. So if you can bring bicep to ear, that would be great. We're stacking it up. When we're leaning forward, we're kind of missing the pose here. So we want to stack um, bicep on top of ear, shoulder on top of shoulder, reaching over energetically feel as if you're going to reach across the room. One more breath. And then on the next inhale, come back up to center. We'll send those arms out to the side. And we're going to go the other direction. Left elbow, left thigh, right arm over, reach and stretch. Energetically, I'm reaching over here towards the window. A couple more breaths. And inhale, bring yourself back up, all right? So we're gonna sit here with our, our knees, our feet wide, our arms up to the side. Let's take a big inhale. 
And on the exhale, it's like we're gonna dip down. You might even wanna set a block up. You can touch the block, that can be your goal, where the hands can come down. Inhale, come up, and then dip to the other side. Working on strengthening our intercostal muscles, our side muscles here. This helps us with our balance. Coming back up, and over. Two more times each side. Coming up, and over. Over and then last two. And then come up and then really shake it out, shake it out. Let's get into strengthening the legs here a little bit more. These are just some very basic um, movements that will help strengthen our hip flexors and our quads. Um, this will help take some of the pressure off of our knees. So I'm still scooted up towards the front uh, part of the chair, and I wanna be careful that as I'm doing this that I'm not rounding my back, and I'm keeping a nice straight back. So we'll start with the right leg. Inhale, lift, and lower. Now it doesn't matter how high you're bringing the leg, as long as the foot is coming off the floor. So you decide where your stopping point is. I'm gonna do three more. Switch legs now. Left leg. Lift and lower. So as we strengthen these muscles, it helps take some of the pressure off of the knees. And we want to make those joints last a little bit longer. Two more. Perfect. Now we're going to kick that right leg out and pull it back. So actually, as you're bending the knee, you're almost lifting it a little bit here. So this is that movement where we're going upstairs. So we're going for eight, but if five is in your practice today, stop at five. And you can feel that last one. And down, we'll take it to the other side, kick it out. And we pull it in, we draw it in, we draw it up. Three more. I might have lost count. <laughs> I think we're good. Last one. Good job, put it down. Yeah, let's winch over for those knees from side to side again. Mm, very nice. Let's go through a little bit of a different um, sun salutation this time. I think it's different. It's starting to blur together. Just bear with me if we did this already. Just humor me. <laughs> so let's inhale, take the arms up, take a big breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. We'll start with some sun breaths for the first few rounds. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, palms come together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now this I know we did. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Reach the arms out and up, come back up to seated. Palms come together. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more like this. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Now this time on the inhale, we're gonna come into a down dog. So I'm gonna extend one leg at a time, pressing the heels into the floor, pulling my toes up, keeping my back straight, but hinged at the hips, hands coming forward. So this looks like, and I'll turn sideways, this looks like if we were on the floor and in down dog, right? Like this is just flipping the room. So we're coming into our down dog like this. You can feel the length in the back, maybe a little bit of sensation and lengthening the hamstrings. Now let's move through chaturanga. We're going to <clears throat> first come up, straight, uh, lengthen our back, straighten our backs, coming into our plank. Then we're going to pull the hands and feet back. 
Coming into our Chaturanga. I just like saying it that way. Bring the hands down to the left. Find your cobra or your up dog. Lengthen the spine. Lift the chest, the chin as the shoulders draw down. And then exhale, release. All right, let's try that again. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming into down dog. We're already in that forward position. Hands and legs go long and straight. Pull the hands back, shoulders back, like we're doing our push-up. Then bring the feet in. Hands come to the uh, lap. Up dog or cobra. And exhale, release. Let's speed it up a little bit. We'll do, we'll do three more. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Coming to down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, lifting up. And then release. Two more. Down dog, plank, chaturanga, cobra, up dog, and release. Last one. job. Shake it all out. Shake it all out. <clears throat> Let's get into our blast offs here just to get them out of the way in case I missed them at all. Hopefully you've been practicing them. Um, let's go for 15 this week. But again, if five or eight or 10 or 12 is what your practice is, stop at that number. If you start to get tired or feel dizzy, take a break. <clears throat> you can hold on to the chair for some support, but we're going to come back to seated when we're done. And you can also do these seated by pressing your feet into the floor and pushing the feet into the floor, lengthening the spine as if you were going to stand up. You're still activating those muscles. So find what works for you. It might be a combination of both. Take it nice and steady. We're going for 15 or whatever's in your practice. All right, let's do it. Where it's really important that I make sure I stay with my count, right? And if I'm going too fast, slow it down. If I'm going too slow and you want to go faster, it's your practice. Do you, boo? All right, we're almost there. So we were at such high altitudes, and I live below sea level, so breathing has been really messed up. And then you also do that, like, is it COVID? Is it elevation? <laughs> Last one, if you're with me. And then come back to seat it. I'm going to fix my blanket. Grab a drink of water or a drink, whatever beverage you've got on hand. And if you don't have a strap nearby, pause the video, grab a strap. Oh, mama. It's amazing what just a little bit of movement um, can do like that's to me that's a nice little cardio you could keep doing that and ooh, really get some cardio going all right if you pause and grabbed your strap and came back let's go ahead and have the strap here in front of us we're gonna take uh, hold on to the strap with a wide grip so my hands are a little bit further wide than wider than my shoulders and we're just gonna try to pull it taut here you know not um, not that I'm actively trying to break it in half. I just want it to not be, you know, loose and slacked in the middle. All right. Pull the shoulders down towards the floor. Take a nice long spine. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Take a big breath. And on the exhale, let's twist over to the left. So like the left hand is pulling the right. And then let's switch. Right hand pulls the left. And we're going in the other direction. So you can match your breath with movement however it's most comfortable in your body. 
Left hand is pulling and leading now. You can follow with your gaze. And then the right hand. Nice gentle movement here. So more time each side. Pulling to the left. And then pulling to the right. Perfect. Come back up into center, forward facing. Let's inhale, lift up. And exhale, coming down to the left. Inhale, reaching up. And down. Let's do that three more times. Reaching. And last one. With the next inhale, we're gonna bring the arms back up overhead. And we're gonna take a little we'll pull with the right hand over this way. And now pull with the left hand this way. So we're really actively pulling, leading with that side. One more in each direction. And then come back up. Let's take the feet a little bit wider just for stability. You might even push them forward just a little bit. And we're gonna make a big circle here. Circle, circle, circle. And it's gonna you know, kind of whip around here. Ooh, ah, circle, circle, circle. We'll do three in one direction and three in the other. A lot of shoulder and abdominal work today, so switch directions. And last one. Perfect. Let's take the hands extra wide and start to reach back behind you. So you might just have the hands come back behind you. You might be able to bring them all the way down. Take the hands as wide as you need to, and we'll just flash the shoulders here, going back and forth, front to back, using the strap. One more time. And back down. Whew, good job. Roll it out, shake it out, shake, shake, shake. So I've already got a little loop on the bottom of my strap here. Um, this tends to be a little bit easier if my hands are cranky and I can't hold on to both. Um, but that's completely up to you. If you want to just hold on to each end of the strap or you want to have one strap like this, this works too. So let's wrap around the ball of the right foot. So we don't want it too far into the arch. And again, I'm still up on the front edge of my chair. So let's take a big breath. And exhale, release. All right. With the next inhale, let's lift the foot up as high as we're comfortable and then bringing it back down. You can use one hand or two hands. We're just getting that like walking motion up and down. And then this last one, we're gonna lift and hold. So find your comfort zone. You can reach further up um, towards the strap. That's another reason why I like it like this. I can hold on to that little uh, buckle area. It makes it a little bit easier on my hands. All right, let's open it out to the side as far as you can. Like we're opening up a gate. Let's just kind of open and close a little bit here. Get that movement in the hip in this direction. And then let's hold. Good job, you're doing great. Let's pull it across. So I'm gonna hold it with my left hand and all I'm imagining here is that I have this center imaginary line down my body, and I just want to bring the foot across that center line. That's crossing the center midline. That's doing what we need to do. I'm feeling sensation here. Maybe to, you know, activate a little bit more. I'm going to twist to the right. Nothing big, nothing dramatic. This is enough. One more breath. And then exhale, release. Let's take it to the other side. We'll put that strap on the foot there and let's just do that up and down whenever you're ready. 
Just getting the movement in the hip area. And then let's lift and hold. Again, you can reach down closer to the strap, hold it up a little bit higher. Might be feeling a little warm now. We're starting to work some big muscle groups. And then we're gonna take it out to the side. And bring it in, out and in. One more time. And then we're gonna keep it out and hold. Make sure you're not clenching your jaw here, trying to keep the shoulders relaxed. And you're holding the foot way up high, like you let it come down a little bit, you're okay. One side is gonna be different than the other. And then we're gonna bring it across, cross that imaginary midline, maybe twist away. One more breath. And then release, very nice. Release that strap, release the foot, and you can go back to windshield wipering again here. All right, let's take the feet a little bit wider. Let's grab a block, put it out in front of us. Inhale, reach the arms up. And on the exhale, forward fold. So your block can be at its highest setting, its medium setting, its low setting, whatever fits in your body in this moment best. And we're just gonna stay in this forward fold for a little while, just feeling the breath moving in and out of the back body. Two more breaths, just as we are. All right, let's plant the right hand underneath the nose. With the next inhale, reach the left arm up. So if the left arm isn't coming all the way up, you can bring it to your hip. So as you're twisting that body to the side, it can uh, rest on the thigh and leverage it over, whatever works for you. Arm up, arm down, find what Find what fits in your body in this moment. It's gonna be different from one day to the next. One more breath. And then exhale, release. I have uh, cranky shoulders, so lifting and holding my arms up backwards is a challenge. So the left hand underneath your nose. Inhale, you can reach the right arm up. You can bring it to the hip. You can bring it to the thigh. As long as you're twisting your body towards that side, take the twist uh, to the extent that feels best for you. Three more breaths. And then release, come back down to center, or both hands come to the knees. And we're gonna roll ourselves back up to the upright seated position. And we're gonna find ourselves coming into a squat. So hopefully um, you have two blocks or something that you can do with your feet, books. I'm gonna take my blocks and put them on the highest setting. I'm bringing my feet here, coming into my squat. Very nice on the knees. If you're feeling um, very adventurous today and you wanna pop out of the chair, maybe put your hands on the seat for balance, for stability, and find a squat this way. These are all options. So this is the hip opener that we're looking for in squat. That's the important part of this pose is that we're really getting into the hips here. It's not important that we're um, protecting our knees here. Um, when we get into that deep squat, it can be really unsafe in our, in our knees and, and sometimes our ankles. Um, so we can find the alternative way. And I love, I love a squat in the chair and I love a squat on the wall. It's pretty amazing. I got to share some of that tidbit um, with some students at the yoga festival and it was fun because they were people who, had, who always opted out of squat because they just said it wasn't for them. So we did it with a wall, we did it with a chair, we did it um, We did it with our back to the wall and leaning down and sitting on a block and they were just like, this is amazing, we can never do this pose. So I also like to transition this squat into a happy baby. Yes, we can do happy baby in the chair and we can reach down and grab our feet and uh, you can even get a little bit of motion side to side. You don't get the back massage 
that you would if you were on the floor, but you can really get into the hips here, kind of wiggling back and forth and finding that happy baby option. So we'll just stay here for three more breaths. Bring yourself back up into that upright position. Set the feet down and just make any movement that works for you, whether it's tapping out the feet or windshield wipering or if it's going back to the cat cow. Let's explore a little bit of a breath practice here. This is one of my favorites. This is called breath of joy. You take three sips of air and then a long exhale. And after a while, like you'll see what I mean. Like it, it does make you a little happy. So we do it like this. It's like a conductor. We inhale, 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 exhale. Right. Inhale, 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 exhale. So just keep doing this on your own. Let that exhale grow longer. I was exhaling too much on that one. I hope you didn't hear that. Still adjusting to the uh, altitude and then breathing funny. There we go. One more, or at least that's what I hope it is. I keep worrying in the back of my head could it be COVID? Very nice. Just take a little pause here. Let the hands rest on the lap. Let the arms and shoulders relax just a little bit. Very nice. From here, I'm going to pause this video and I'll stop for just a little bit and then I'm going to come back and fit, continue the recording. Because um, I want us to do a little bit of a um, meta meditation. There's a lot going on in the world right now and we just we need a little bit of help with this meditation. So from here, if you want to pause and maybe get some other extra movement in there or otherwise set yourself up for whatever is your most comfortable and supported um, meditation or Shavasana position, you can do this sitting up. I, I like to do this laying down because it's, it's a lot of compassion and I just, I wanna be really safe and comfortable. You can lay on the floor, put your feet up on the chair, you can move to a bed or a sofa or recliner. These are all the good things about practicing at home is that you can explore your Shavasana anywhere. So go ahead and take this time to make yourself super comfortable. I will just be pausing and then I'm gonna start recording again. Um, so you won't really feel any differences in here. Just take this time, take this moment to set yourself up in a really comfortable and safe feeling position for our meditation and then we'll ease into Shavasana. Okay, so hopefully now you have settled in to either your meditation pose or your Shavasana pose, whichever you prefer, it's completely up to you. Maybe you've dimmed some lights, you can even put on some soft music and if you haven't done that yet and you wanna take a pause to do that, feel free. So we're going to have a little bit of a meditation um, on loving kindness before we take our Shavasana. Um, you might be familiar with this. This is one of my more favorite guided meditations. So I want you to be extremely comfortable in this meditation on loving kindness. Allow yourself to switch from the usual mode of doing to a mode of non-doing or simply being. 
As your body starts to settle into its stillness, you'll bring your attention to the fact that you are breathing. So become aware of the movement of your breath as it comes into your body and as it leaves your body. Not manipulating the breath in any way or trying to change it or sending it to any particular body part, just simply being aware with it, being aware of it and any of the feelings that you have that are associated with it. Observe the breath down deep in your belly. Feel the abdomen as it expands gently on the in-breath and as it falls back towards your spine on the out-breath. Being totally here in each moment with each breath. Giving full care and attention to each in breath and to each out breath and as they follow each other in a never ending cycle and flow. If distracting thoughts start to arise, acknowledge them and then continue back to this practice. And now bringing to mind someone from whom you have very deep feelings of love for. Seeing or sensing this person and noticing your feelings for them arise in your body. It may be simply a smile that spreads across your face, or maybe your chest becomes warm. Whatever the effects, allow them to be felt. And now letting go of this person in your imagination and keeping in awareness the feelings that have arisen. Bring yourself to mind now and seeing if you can offer loving kindness to yourself by letting these words be your words. So maybe in your mind you repeat them. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I ride the waves of my life. May I live in peace no matter what I am given. Noticing the feelings that may arise and letting them be as you look within yourself with mindfulness and equanimity. When you're comfortable, try offering loving kindness to someone who supports you, who has always been on your side. Bring this person to your mind and imagine them perhaps sitting across from you and letting these words become your words. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you ride the ways of your life. May you live in peace no matter what you are given. Once your feelings flow easily to a loved one, turn your attention now to someone with whom you have difficulty. And it might not be best to start with the most difficult person, but perhaps someone who brings up feelings of irritation or annoyance. And seeing if you can let these words become your words as you keep this person in your awareness. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you ride the waves of your life. May you live in peace no matter what you are given. Notice the sensations that arose within you this time and seeing if you can allow them and just let them be. And now bringing to mind the broader community of which you are a part. You might imagine your family, your workmates, your neighbors, or fan out your attention until you can include all persons and creatures on the planet. 
and including yourself in this offering of loving kindness as you let these words become your words. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we ride the waves of our lives. And may we live in peace no matter what we are given. Notice any sensations or feelings that arise within you, sitting with them for just a few moments. If you um, decided to practice this meditation sitting up, go ahead and make your way down to your final resting pose, your Shavasana nail. And if the eyes aren't already closed, allow them to close. Rolling the eyes back away from the eyelids. Softening the crown of your head, softening your forehead, softening your eyebrows and smoothing out the space between your eyebrows. Soften your temples, your cheeks and unhinge the jaw. And imagine breathing into the back of your neck and as you exhale, the breath travels over your shoulders, over the biceps, down to your elbows, down to your wrists, and each and every fingertip. With the next inhale, imagine that you're breathing to the top of your spine, so that as you exhale, the breath travels down the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, the mid back, the low back, all the muscles of the back widening and releasing down towards the floor, or whatever is supporting you. With the next inhale, imagine that you're breathing into your throat sensor. Exhaling, softening the collarbones, softening your heart center, softening your ribs, your abdominal and pelvic muscles. The only movement now is the inhales and exhales as they enter and exit your body. And then breathing in and all around your hip sockets. Allow the breath to travel over your thighs, your knees, your shins and calves, and your ankles, feet, and toes. Feel the whole body getting soft and heavy and easy, melting down into the earth beneath you. You're safe. You're supported. Allow yourself to re release and relax just a little bit deeper. But anytime your mind starts to wander, just bring your attention back to your breath. Inhale and exhale. And release yourself into this pose and receive the flow of this moment until I start to talk you back out of it again.
slowly begin to bring your attention back into the room with deeper, fuller breath. And start to make some small movement with fingers and toes. Now that movement becomes slightly bigger by moving your wrists, your ankles, and gently turning your head from one side and then the other. And as you are ready, allow that movement to become slightly bigger with stretching, twisting, knees to chest, folding forward, whatever is just calling to your body right now. And if you're on the floor, roll yourself to one side. Just taking a moment to pause here, just to thank yourself for taking time for the practice today, thanking your body for showing up for you today. And as you're ready, come back up into any comfortable seated position. And if you stayed in the chair, just sitting up a little bit forward, um, maybe scooching a little bit forward to the front end of the chair. Now let's close our practice with a shared breath and even an ohm. So if an ohm is not in your practice, I know that it's not comfortable for a lot of people. You can take this moment to breathe, hum, pray, sit in silence, whatever resonates with you. If you're by yourself, and you've always been self-conscious about oming, this is a good time, nobody's around. If it's a regular part of your practice, um, I'm excited to share this with you. Let's take a big inhale, reach the arms up overhead, our gaze to our palms as we bring them together. And on the exhale, release the hands to heart center, eyes closed, head slightly bowed. I like to leave a little space between my palms to carry this practice with me throughout the rest of the day, and maybe even the week. Just taking an inhale for the ohm. Om. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free. And may we all live in peace. Mm, thank you so much, and I hope uh, that this practice served you well. As always, I'm really grateful that you've given me this space and invited me into your practice. Um, we've got a few more videos to go, so don't worry, I got you. All right, have a great week. See you soon. Bye.